The Fountain Day 144, Butterflies of Creativity. The fruit of obedience in my life is very often creativity. I love the way God moves in me when I surrender to him. I don't do it for the gift, but I sure do love it. It's something I can count on. One morning this week, the day after I took a step of obedience, I woke up and felt butterflies of creativity fluttering all around me. My insides were literally whirling with creative juices. <clears throat> the times that in my life that I feel most fulfilled are times when I feel creative. It's like life breath to me. Are you like this too? Right now, I leaned back and closed my eyes and I saw God's heart. I saw my hand reach out to touch it. When I did, I could feel it coursing with creativity and compassion, full of grace, brimming with mercy. I want to be a woman after his heart. I want to care about what he cares about and hold fast to what he holds fast to. I want to know him better. Don't you? This is the single-minded pursuit of my life, laying all else aside to pursue him. I don't ever want to forget the first thing, my first love. It's so easy to get distracted by everything else in life, but the reward of pursuing him is far greater than any earthly accolade or reward. He is my first priority. When we place our life in the position of God first, all other things second, <clears throat> it sets us up for a deluge of blessing. It places us in a waterfall of his presence and we never thirst. It seats us at his banqueting table, and we never hunger. I pray that today you take time to refocus your heart and mind on him. Lean in and ask if there are any steps of obedience you could be taking, but are avoiding. If there are, commit to just doing it. Do it and then reap the reward of blessings. Do it because you love him. Do it because you trust him more than yourself. When God shows you to take a step, just take it. When we step where he says to step, we find that he's already there. He goes before us. We are a privileged people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. We need to remember that. We also need to remember that with great privilege comes great responsibility. We are responsible for obedience. God, please highlight any steps you are wanting me to take. Give me wisdom, lead me in peace. Give me the courage I need to face each day. I desire to follow you in every way. I don't ever wanna grieve you with my disobedience. Please forgive me for any time I've walked in disobedience. I adore you, in Jesus' name, amen. Do you see someone skilled in their work? They will serve before kings. They will not serve before officials of low rank. Proverbs 22, 29. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians 2 verse 10. Then Moses said to the people of Israel, See, the Lord has called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, and he has filled him with the Spirit of God, with skill and intelligence, with knowledge, with all craftsmanship, to devise artistic designs to work in gold and silver and bronze, in cutting stones for setting and in carving wood for work in every skilled craft. Exodus 35 verses 30 through 33.